Welcome to 3ds Max. Today we're going to be going over the Boolean tool in th well, 3ds Max as I just said. Anyways, we're going to start in the perspective viewport on standard primitives. So I'm, what I'm going to do is maximize the window by doing Alt W so we get the full view. Next, I'm going to go up to box or standard primitives, select box, and just draw a quick box. Colors and dimensions don't matter. What I will do though is center it on the page to just help demonstrate this further, I guess. Anyways, so now you got your box. I'm gonna come up here to the tube and just draw one in. Doesn't matter the dimensions of it, just as long as it's taller than the box. Well, it doesn't even have to be, just for the purpose of this demonstration, it will be. I'm gonna center it on the page as well, and I'm gonna drop it down so it's a little below as well as above. So next, what you're going to do is select the box again. You're going to come back up to the creation tab, standard primitives, and open the drop down menu to compound objects. From here, you're going to want to select boolean. It will look different on your version, but it all does the same thing in the end. Do not worry. Anyway, so you're going to want to click add operand, or add op operand B, or whatever it says on your version, and select the cylinder you just made. Now, for you, it probably just made a big hole. Don't worry, we're gonna get there. Assuming it did not make a hole and it looks like this, then I'm going to continue through how it is. So, here, what just happened is both objects merged into one. They are now the exact same object. Even though this one does not have all these faces on it, it does now on the inside. We're gonna get to that in a moment. So, what I'm going to do here is make sure I'm on tube 1, which is what I just created, and go down to subtract. Now again, I know this looks different from you, so do not worry about the extra steps that I have to go through. But in case it didn't go through there, what you want to do, go to, you want to go down to subtract A to B, or something like that. And what's going to happen is it's going to punch a big hole like this right down the center. Assuming you did this, congratulations, you're done, you passed the exam. But assuming it looks like this, then what you did wrong is you did subtract B to A, or you selected the tube first, and then you put the boolean effect on it. No worries, you just, assuming you put the effect on the tube, doesn't matter, all you have to do now is collect, subtract B to A, and it will look like this once again. There are other things you can go over in this uh, using this, but this is all I'm here to go over. I'll see you guys in the next part when we talk about basic animation.